Canada's boreal forest is our ally in fighting climate change, a vast carbon sink that absorbs greenhouse gas emissions. But when trees burn, carbon is released. As Canada and northern latitudes warm twice as fast as the rest of the planet, a vicious cycle is being triggered. Carbon emissions are warming the planet, which is drying the forests, creating more fuel for wildfires and releasing even more carbon stored in those trees. If we put more CO2 in the atmosphere, That'll cause more of this drought, which cause more of the fires. So we end up with what's called a, a positive feedback loop, but it's by no means positive. It's actually very negative for climate. The world's boreal forests are only in the north. Russia and Canada have by far the most. This country alone has 28% of the world's boreal zone, 550 million hectares. The record for carbon from Canadian wildfires was set in 2014, 138 megatons. This year, 377 megatons of carbon, almost three times the previous record. What's remarkable is the number of intense fire regions this year. Wildfires began in May, primarily in Alberta. Quebec saw huge fires in June that blanketed eastern Canada and the U.S. in smoke. In July, intense fires burned in parts of B.C. By early August, fires were burning in the high Arctic down towards Yellowknife. And this week, in the Northwest Territories, south of Great Slave Lake. 70% of Canada's indigenous communities are in forested regions, and they are most at risk for pollutants from wildfires. There's a wide range of impacts on the carbon side, but also the air pollution side, particulate matter, volatile organic compounds, uh, benzene, toluene, really unpleasant things that have direct consequences for, for human health. Particulates from smoke will also speed the melting of Arctic ice. The cascading effects of wildfires in our forests are apt to accelerate the consequences of climate change. We count on forests to convert our CO2 to the oxygen that we breathe, and as we lose more and more of it, uh, we're going to have less and less of that process. The boreal forests are a very important sink for CO2. Greg Evans believes as bad as it is this year, the records being set for wildfires and carbon emissions will likely be broken in future years. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.